right, thanks, Brian. Uh, hey, Neil. So, looking at last night's game, tonight's game, uh, it just seems like Iowa. You know, you guys started this game on time. That second period really seemed to be a challenge. I wonder if you can talk about if there's anything different about that middle frame uh, for you guys. I, I didn't love our start tonight, actually, to be quite frank. I, I didn't think we had the same uh, energy that we did the previous two nights. Uh, and I think, you know, it, it kind of got away from us. We scored one uh, to get us back into it. And our final 10 of the first frame was okay. Uh, obviously, the second period, they took over. Um, you know, we had some breakdowns. Uh, and we had pucks on our stick um, on all the goals tonight. We had chances to break pucks out clean. Um, you know, we made some plays up our own wings. Uh, we made some cutbacks into pressure. Um, we had some miscommunication and misreaders on some goalie handles. Um, you know, when you have an opportunity at this level, uh, you have to execute. You have to be able to get out clean. And if you can't get out clean, you have to make a hard play uh, then to give your neutral zone four check a fighting chance. And, um, we didn't do that nearly well enough. Um, and in turn, we were in a pretty big hole. You mentioned getting out clean. Those first two goals came in that 30 seconds apart, basically. It looked like both of them were, were as a result of that, not getting a clean break. Can you kind of diagnose that or walk through what you saw in those plays? Yeah, uh, absolutely. We, we, we dropped down as, as a, a strong side winger. And, um, you know, we got to get our feet moving north. Uh, we banked one up to our own wing. Uh, the low forward tried to get in a lane on it, and then we lost uh, position at the net. It was a strong side point shot. Um, you know, nothing crazy, no east-west. Um, we need to control sticks. We need to get a box out. And uh, if you do that, you're going to bail out the mistake that we saw in the wall play. Um, the second one, we brought a, pack, a puck back south. Um, we lost a wall battle. And then we had a chance to probably use the net, talk to our partner, uh, exit east-west, uh, and we turned back into coverage. Uh, again, uh, lost a wall battle, and then we lost uh, slot positioning on a play that we've covered uh, several times against uh, this Iowa team. It's a play they look for, and they executed well. So, you know, was there some fatigue involved in those mistakes? Absolutely. Um, but that's where you have to be mentally tougher, uh, understanding the situation. Good, thanks. Um, you got two days before Colorado, and one of those is a travel day. How, how do you adjust and, and get ready? Uh, for the next series? Well, we have to get back to our identity and doing things uh, a little simpler. Um, I thought even in the third, it's easy to play when you're trailing, especially by that number. Uh, but I thought we simplified some things and at least we put pucks in areas that give you a chance. Um, you know, when you're turning pucks back south, um, you have line mates pushing pace going the other way. Um, you're disconnecting yourself from the game. Uh, we didn't play very well connected, I thought. Um, when we're making short, support passes with speed, um, you know, with players pushing um, north uh, to open up gaps uh, on the opposition's deep. We seem to, to do things cleaner, um, and we, we weren't involved in those situations till probably the third. Um, we made some harder plays, some plays going north, and we spent more time in the ozone. Great. Thanks, Neil. Patrick? Yes, yeah, so Neil, uh... Is there something that you're seeing Iowa's doing that, that gives your team in particular just uh, a difficult time? Well, I, I, it's funny because I thought we played um, very good uh, the second game of the series, which was, I believe, the Wednesday. Uh, you know, you get, you'll shoot them 20 to 2 in the first period. Uh, and I don't think you're necessarily, necessarily saying Iowa, uh, you know, w w was doing the same thing to us. And, you know, you, you lose two of the first three when you probably deserve a little better fate, but you, you fail to get it done, you know, maybe tonight's one you move past or it's a wash where, you know, you're, you're two Oh and one, or you're two and one going into this game. You don't have a good night. Uh, and now it's two, two. And you're like, well, all right. Um, you know, it was a close series, um, but you, you lose some games, um, you know, at least one of them that you should have won when you're the better team on the evening. Uh, and you probably have a different outlook. So I think it's important not to, um, to hit the panic button, it's not, we don't need to overanalyze tonight's game and, and group it in as to a series analysis, but tonight we weren't nearly good enough and they deserve the two points top to bottom for 60. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that was the case in the prior two victories. Okay. So along those lines, um, with the rhythm of the season being what it is, the schedule being what it is, do you have to assess these chunks of games, these blocks of games a little bit differently than you might in a more traditional season? 
I yes and no. Um, I think you know we're com- we're a competitive group. Like you have to hate to lose, and you know I think a big part of the development process is establishing winning habits and winning details. And you know we're trying to to build the next crop of players for the Dallas Stars, um, and we have to do that the right way. And you don't always have to get the two points, but you have to do things that um, give you an opportunity where you're in the position or you're in the conversation every night um, in the game. And for the most part of the year, I do believe we've done that. Um, you know, where you do have to think a little bit broader um, is the uniqueness of this season. Um, the multiple games in a row, um, the three three in a row against an opponent, four against uh, the same opponent. Like we're going to play them for Colorado, for San Jose, for doesn't mean um, your idea of winning or expectations change, um, but you also have to have an understanding of, you know, the other team's trying to win as well. Uh, and while we're trying to win, it's imperative that we continue to develop and we stay calm. Um, we take a breath. We work through um, correctable mistakes. Um, we continue to develop our young players, our old players. Uh, and if we develop the player, our team will continue to grow. Um, and we'll start to narrow the gap again on some of these uh, closer games. In a season like this, um, where it is different, would you would you take a win where you, you don't necessarily play well? In fact, maybe there's some bad habits that creep in, or would you be okay with something where you where you don't win but you you are really playing on point? Well, it, it's funny. I think there was a, there was a stretch. Um, the two games this year that, that come to mind was, uh, we, we had three wins in a row in Tucson on the road. The third night there, I thought they had a good push. Um, you know, both teams had a little fatigue in their games and, you know, we kind of found a way to win, um, and win three in a row against the same opponent, which is very tough to do, especially on the road in uh, three and four days. Um, you know, so for me, there was stuff involved in that, that we probably didn't love, but in the same breath, we found a way to make a block at the right time, um, you know, be on the right side of a battle, uh, win a blue line, uh, do something on a special teams uh, that will still help the development process and, you know, still recognize you can win a game even when you're not at your best. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the first game against Colorado was actually similar too, where um, that game, they put us on our heels a little bit. We didn't bend, or sorry, we bent, but we didn't break. And we found a way to win a game when we weren't at our best you can use that as a teaching moment as well. So, you know, I want to win, uh, you know, let's we'll be clear yeah. on that. We want to win. Um, but, you know, I, I still think there's a lot that can be done uh, on a loss, uh, you know, but you just don't want to go down that rabbit, uh, rabbit hole too long. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.